Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video, this is episode 139 of our 365 day daily devotionals. This daily devotional is called Jesus Calling. It is by Sarah Young and guys, it is such a fantastic devotional. If you've missed any of the previous episodes and you'd like to check that out, there is a playlist in the description box. And other than the fact that I did not upload yesterday, I do apologize about that, guys. I just got really, really busy. I had to go to the laundromat. I had some DIYs that I needed to get done. It was just total chaos yesterday. <laughs> Plus, they started working on the house again. So, it was just a lot going on yesterday. But anyways, we're going to get caught back up. Um, today is 139, and I guess that's it. So, let's jump right in. Okay, number 139. Come to me with your plans held in abeyance. Worship me in spirit and in truth, allowing my glory to permeate your entire being. Trust me enough to let my God, let me guide you through this day, accomplishing my purposes in my timing. Subordinate your mirrored plans to my master plan. I am sovereign over every aspect of your life. The challenge continually before you is to trust me and search for my way through each day. Do not blindly follow your habitual route or you will miss what I have prepared for you. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Man. Very, very good. Come to me with your plans held in abeyance. Abeyance means like a temporary suspension. Like hold on to your plans for a minute. Just see what God wants you to do first, you know? I am so guilty of not doing this enough. I get up, I get my planner out, I figure out what I got to do that day, I'm on task. Just like this says, in habitual root. It's it's a habit. It's it's getting up and doing the same thing every day and knowing that what you gotta do next. And you know, when we really truly need that time with God, first thing in the mornings to start our day and to plan our day with God so that we don't miss what God has prepared for us. I had no plan whatsoever yesterday to go to the laundromat. That was for Tuesday. Had that in my planner. Not going to do it on Monday. Was totally going to do it on Tuesday. Some other things came up. I thought, boy, I better get to the laundromat. I, I really need to go ahead and get this done today. So I load up everything. Off to the laundromat I go. Lo and behold, there's somebody at the laundromat. Just happened to spark up a conversation with them. Tell them about my YouTube channel. Tell them about my daily devotionals. Well, that opens the door for us to start talking about God. It was an opportunity that I wouldn't have had had I just stuck to my planner. Does that make sense? That was God's plan for my day yesterday. I know that. Without a shadow of a doubt. We need to plan our days with God. And we need to stay in constant communication with the Lord throughout the day. Lots of times he has things prepared for us so that we can bless others. Not just about the blessings that we are supposed to receive, but the blessings that we are supposed to, you know, the Lord's going to use us to bestow upon other people. And for me, that's most important. I would much rather somebody else be blessed than myself. Does that make sense? I hope I'm explaining this right. I always get, I always um, like second guess myself when I'm talking to y'all, but I just always want to make sure that I'm telling you guys this stuff correctly and that you understand what I'm saying. You know, more or less, don't walk through your day blindly. Do not just blindly start your day, 
planned out the way that you have it planned and you know your routine and getting things done and blah 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 and you're not paying attention and you're going to miss what God has planned for you whether it be blessings for you or ways that he can use you to bless others All right, let's do the verses. God is spirit and his worshipers must worship in spirit and in truth. John 4, 24. The sovereign Lord has given me an instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being taught. Isaiah 54. My thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Isaiah 55, 8. You know, God's will is absolutely 100% best for us. If we can just align our lives with God's will for us, the, 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 the doors that will open and the opportunities that will come are just amazing. <clears throat> Try starting your day with God. Try planning your day with God, asking God what he wants you to do. Ask God what's most important and then start your day. You never know what he has planned. Mm. So, so good. All right, guys, this was a quick one. This was short and sweet. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps my channel. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. That would be awesome. Plus hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much for being with me today. And y'all have a blessed day. Thank you.